Disclaimer, the thoughts and views of the people in this video do not represent the opinions of 91BTV as a whole. We are not a news organization and do not promote ourselves as one. We understand that this is a difficult time and topic for all of us, but we think that it's important to share this. For current and valid sources on the coronavirus, refer to the links in our video description. So basically, I'm just asking you guys, just like, how does it feel to be back here on campus? Honestly, I kind of miss it. Not like um, missing like to see tutors, because sometimes online is not the best way to go for with certain classes that I'm taking. For example, like computer science. I would want to get like more help in face-to-face -face than doing online to understand and to get the helps I really need for this. It's well, interesting to be back. I appreciate being back. Um, I, I'm happy with the Zoom classes, but I just like being in an environment where I can focus and be around people who are doing the same thing as me. Well, I mean, it's a little different for being well, last year online Zoom classes and seeing all that um, at school. So. Yeah, it's a little different, but it's like where we were before all the COVID just happened. I just felt like it was harder for me doing Zoom put, um, online courses because I would procrastinate in my own house because if I'm in my own room, sometimes I'm not even really that focused or I'm not going into like that 100% into focusing my course as I will do it when I'm coming to like the school campus. So it feels good to see everyone physically and moving back in on campus. Uh, I feel like my wings can spread, but uh, I know there are limitations, like such as uh, limited, uh, not limited access, but like everything here closes early, not like before. And you, it's not, it's not the same as before the pandemic and a lot more restrictions, especially to non-CPP members. So, uh, overall, it feels good though. Um, honestly, sitting here, um, it does feel good. Uh, a little bit unreal. Um, I saw a few of my friends uh, today, actually, and um, I can't kind of just keep touching on them on the shoulder or whatnot, kind of just to make sure that it's real, because um, some part of me still thinks that maybe i'll wake up back at home like alone and stuff but uh yeah it feels unreal um very happy to be back um glad to see you nick again too um and stuff uh i'm just hoping that with you know all the safety protocols that we'll be able to maintain this environment as well um, so that everybody can hopefully follow those regulations um because we are adults so it's our job to like uphold those regulations as well and be mature about them. Being here, it's for the first day. I think it's going pretty okay. <laughs> I think for me, like at least the social aspect, it's really nice to just like see people we haven't seen in like two years. So that's really just like like crazy. I don't really know how to act and how to socialize anymore. But um, I think just like coming back, it's just really also real. I'm just getting like a lot of like nostalgia. And yeah. I'm just really just grateful just to even right be now, on campus so. right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. Absolutely. So I think in a non-academic sense, that's how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was, yeah. my, that was my, my, one of my questions too. Just like, how does it feel to be back on campus? Um, oh, yeah. <clears throat> it feels, I mean, it's a little weird because like a lot of people still aren't on campus. There's still a lot of people doing online classes. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's just so good to like see other people. I know. You know I just feel like I'm becoming a lot of people. Because I look for how to talk to people. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's a struggle. Yeah. But yeah. I like seeing people again, meeting new people too. Yeah. Makes me happy. Yeah. Cause I mean, like during COVID, we were like staying, you know, to ourselves, yeah, to yeah, ourselves, exactly. and like I mean, we were talking to each other, but mm -hmm. it's always good to meet like new people. Yeah. Cause that's what college is for, you know, networking. Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. like we just met you today. Yeah, yeah. So cool. yeah. yeah. it's been great. Yeah. I love these people already. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> but yeah, it's been cool. How was it? Um, you know, going from you know we were here in March a year and a half ago. And then we just went straight to remote and online. How was that transition for you? How do you think that it went? Uh, sure. So I think it went by fast because, you know, like the school year was still going on. So everyone had to transition to like Zoom and know how to use a computer, you could say. 
that for me that transition was okay. Uh, moving out was a hassle because I had a lot of stuff in my room. I live on campus, by the way, and uh, I think the school handled the transition all right. Yeah, there was a lot of uncertainty that I understand, which made people some angry. So yeah. I agree too. Like, um, it was a confusing time, but like really, um, I remember that everybody was pretty much doing all of their activities as well, uh, especially on campus. And um, you know, one week we were here, and then the next we weren't. Um, and for me personally, I feel like the the prefer the professors do deserve a lot more credit than than uh, than they're actually given because they're able to handle a lot of the transitions pretty well, uh, in spite of you know being trans, um, in, in spite of like changing their pretty much entire course plan for the rest of the semester, and basically for the rest of the year as well. Um, so I honestly think that it was handled pretty well. Um, and but I'd say for the following year is pretty okay too. Um, I know that there's some some uncertainties as well, uh, and some a lot of confusion for first years. Um, but I I think the first years were able to be accommodated quite well too. Nine so. for me was insanely difficult because I felt really isolated, and it really brought my mental state, my mental health state, into a deep pit. Um, my academics definitely suffered as a result of being online and not being on campus. I'm definitely more of a, I need to be in a classroom to be held accountable because I'll get distracted really easily. So I'm definitely really happy to be back here, even though some things are still on, online and everything's pretty social distance, but I am still really happy to be back. But yeah, I think class was just felt really, really disingenuous. You know, the professors and everyone says, you know, we can do it through COVID, but I think it's just really, really rough and, you know, you're sent back home and I was from out of state. So, you know, that week, uh, my mom sent me off with like within three hours of notice. She said, we're going. And I didn't want to go back. I was in my freshman year. I lost 43 pounds uh, during that year. And then I gained 90 something pounds over COVID. And I think my health, my physically and mentally, definitely went down the drain. Um, I was able to go and find some school resources through CAPS. Um, I think I found new friends definitely through online, but overall, I think, you know, COVID just wasn't it. It's blameless too. Nobody, nobody caused this. It's just something that happens and you're, you're looking for someone to blame, but there isn't anybody. Um, so from going in person to online, it was like definitely different, but I think um, I mean, like for her, she just went into her freshman year, like straight online. And I think that was kind of harder because she didn't really know how college worked before even going online. Mm -hmm. Because like before we had like um, classes that had to do like some online work and some in-person yeah. stuff. So it was just easier for that transition, but like definitely harder to like stay focused and stuff. Yeah, yeah I would say definitely like it was hard to stay focused and when I procrastinated more. <laughs> Um, I wasn't like trying to, I wasn't like trying to ask for help or anything. So it was definitely like, it like put a effect, it put, like it affected my mental health and yeah. Yeah. everything as well. So, yeah. For me, it was a huge lack of motivation. Like I had like no motivation because when you go to class like on campus in person, you have the professor like in front of you, you know, you're sitting in the class, like it's so much easier to be engaged. You're like when you're at home, you're like in your home environment. So it's so weird. You don't feel as like, motivated to like raise your hand or ask questions so it was just stuff like that and then like because of that you start low-key slipping like mental like your mental health as well so i think it was definitely a huge adjustment and like it's better now but when we first did it i was i did not like it at all yeah, yeah. <laughs> for me um as she mentioned uh i came straight from high school into this environment and i can say that for me i lost probably all of my motivation. Mm -hmm. I really didn't even want to enter campus this year. Living in a living situation, to be honest, I was like, I'm just going to stay at home. What's the difference? Um, in terms of um, the transition from um, in person to online, you know, during the pandemic, um, how do you think that the university handled that? 
I think the university tried their best, but they were still very unprepared. So were all of us. Yeah. It was a very rough start. Some professors were very lenient and others were not. And students just had to tough it out. And luckily I had the resources I needed, but I know a lot of students didn't. I was one of those students that didn't have a lot of resources for online because it was my first year um, in Cal Poly Pomona as being a, as a transfer student. So like some of the courses I did fell down because I didn't know much how we were going to deal with online because this was my first time ever taking an online course. Yeah, it was difficult for me too because being at home, we have all these distractions and all that. and. It made it difficult, but I pulled through. Yeah, the school could have been a little more prepared. It helped us a little more, but we just had to pull through and do good in these classes every day. Right now, I think that the school is doing a pretty good job with mitigating the transmission rate and keeping students separated. Um, unfortunately, they can't really enforce a lot of things like the mask requirement because I've definitely seen a lot of people not wearing one and I haven't seen anybody say anything but I personally don't want to be sent home again because people can't follow the rules so I think if they did a better job at enforcing things and making sure that people are aware of what they should and shouldn't be doing and the health precautions they should be taking will be in a better position as a campus. I think so far as students, like I know the resource centers, I know CAPS, I know the health center, they tried their best in trying to make sure that their students were still being served. And I think that that's something that they tried to go make up for with the gap, but there's always gonna inherently be less service available just because we're all at home. I don't think that the school necessarily doesn't care. I just think it's the situation they're in. I know we lost a lot of money through, you know, not being able to have housing. I know we lost a lot of money out of, you know, things like having the den closed, having Einstein's closed, having, you know, a lot of departments shrink. But I think at the same time that they did work really tirelessly. I think it was really good that the school gave emergency housing to everybody who needed it. I think it was really, really good that um, you know, the health center was always open, CAPS was doing online stuff, and that they were able to at least reach out. But it's, it's that inherent gap. That's not exactly something that they can do, even if their budgets weren't shrinking. Um, I think for me personally, um, I was able to uh, understand a lot of the transitions very well, but I think there could have been done a lot more for a lot of the first years, especially since um, they're going right into, from high school into college. Um, and some of them didn't even know a lot of the campus resources that, you know, are personally offered like through in-person. Um, so they had to scout out through all their emails and uh, whatnot, just to keep up with all of the information. And I feel like they kind of got um, bombarded with information at times, and so it made it a little more confusing for them. I think they did a pretty good job, because like, I do like to be like, ugh, Cal Poly a lot, yeah. but honestly, like, because no one saw this coming, so for them to just immediately have, okay, like, online classes, they did a pretty good job of transitioning that, because there's, what, 20,000 students that go here, yeah. and now even the way that they opened it back up, but it's not full capacity, like, yeah. I think they're doing, they're trying their best, you know, yeah. like, I think they're pretty, doing a pretty good job. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I think more so. For more like the um, students wise, the, I feel like they care about the students more. Yeah. But like with the professors, I feel like they could train the professors oh, more. Yeah, yeah. Like with like just answering their emails because like yeah, like they they didn't answer their emails. Some professors. Yeah. And so. I had like older professors that didn't really know how to use it. Yeah. yeah. So then that was a whole other issue too. But yeah. I mean, I can't really blame them. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was just something that wasn't predicted. Like exactly. nobody knew what was gonna happen. So mm -hmm. I mean, I think they, they had to learn the as we were learning. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Tee-tee-tee!